So we got some more color here. So let's just talk about sort of iteration during the, uh, the strategy phase. So really want people to think about whatever variable it is. So let's think maybe target job titles. I have a client right now, we're not really sure what job title the clients um, would be most applicable for. The clients had cybersecurity experience, the client has a lot of cloud experience. Um, the client's been at a, uh, uh, well, I can say where the client is because uh, uh, I'm not gonna give the name of the client, um, but this client's basically Goldman Sachs doing technology. Um, and the, my client wants to pivot to one of the technology companies, either very large tech like the Googles or maybe a, a much, much smaller company. Um, so we're trying to figure out what job title is best for this client if he moves to a Google or if he moves to a much, much smaller company. So basically I said to him, let's get you out networking. I want you to speak to somebody at Amazon. I want you to speak to somebody at Google. I want you to speak to somebody at a mid-sized company. And then I want you to speak to somebody at a private equity, PE, or venture capital firm, VC. Because when you speak to somebody at each one of these firms, you're gonna learn so much about what the target title is, not just necessarily at these companies, but what the industry thinks your target title should be. You may have a, your own opinion as to what your uh, title should be, but before I do a job search, I would wanna know what the market thinks about my chances and my job title. So I, want, I basically had my client go out and have about 10 conversations with people in these four different areas. And what we did was we narrowed down the list of titles to about two or three. Well, we took that list of two or three, or actually the, sorry, the intermediate list was about five. So we narrowed down the list to about five. And then I had my client have more conversations with their network. So they went to ABC company, I'm making up names, DEF, GHI, XYZ. We narrowed it down to two to three very, very specific job titles. One was a very specific job title at Amazon. And one was uh, more of a general job title that my client could use at venture capital or private equity firms. But now my client started off with 10 possible titles in his head. And now he knows two to three job titles that he's going after. Makes it much easier to talk to people about what kind of a job he wants. Makes it much easier to see if a job is the appropriate level. So this whole idea, again, the dance, you call it agile, I call it a dance. The dance back and forth with the marketplace where you're constantly learning information to narrow down your list of types of companies, narrow down your list of titles, um, or narrow down the list of everything. It's a dance that you can do. You can get these kind of conversations and you can constantly make adjustments. Um, I use Agile in my own business when it comes to fee structures. The fee structure I had six months ago is not the fee structure I have now. I've been getting more popular, thank God. I still don't have the Ferrari, so I'm still looking for someone to buy me one, but my fee structure is not the same. So I'm constantly making adjustments um, to my business model um, and my services change. I noticed that some of my clients want more services versus fewer services, constantly making these adjustments.